Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was me getting my beard back to normal or the way I like to wear it after a seven hour day of work, sweating and wearing that mask. What I used was this cordless, it is the uh, Aberlite Go. Ever let go. And so for me, I put it on that lowest heat setting because I don't want to get super straight, but I did want to get my beard kind of poofed out again because that mask just kind of constricts everything. And it remarkably does a great job. My beard looks exactly like the way I want it. So that is an awesome thing. But that kind of got me thinking about today's video topic. When we are looking at heated brushes, we have two kinds. You have a kind with a cord and then you have the wireless or the cordless kind. Which one do you prefer? But also, I'm going to go over some pros and cons, and hopefully you guys will get involved in this video here. And I'm going to jump right into it. And by the way, my name's Dancy Bearded. If you like beard stuff, hey, you're in the right spot. I appreciate you guys being here, so thank you. So let's go over the cordless side first. Pros and cons. Pro would be it's easy. You don't have to worry about a cord getting tangled up. You have to just simply turn it on and go. That is awesome. You take up less space when I have one of these little guards here to put it in. It just goes in easy peasy. You don't have to worry about the cord getting in there or the cord taking up space as it goes through. Performance wise, I've never found any difference when it comes to the performance of a cordless as compared to a corded. It's not like it gets like an extra boost of power when there's a cord there. It all seems about the same. Now, on the negative side, of course, charging. If you go to use this and it's not charged, well, that just threw off your whole planning. If it's in the morning getting ready for work, now you're either not gonna be able to use it or you gotta wait until it charges and that is a major, major pain in the butt. If you are irresponsible and don't keep track of it like me, I all the time will go to use something. I'm like, oh shoot, I did not charge it. I also feel like there are a couple more moving pieces or moving parts, if that makes sense, that could go wrong in a cordless. It seems like a cord is a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more no, just surefire, I guess you could say, as compared to the cordless, where oftentimes when I have like wireless chargers and wireless earbuds and stuff like that, those tend to go bad quicker than the other kind. Now, I've never used a cordless uh, heated brush enough to put it through the rigorous years and years to be able to break it down, so I don't know how that plays out longevity-wise, but those are just some of my initial thoughts there. Now, corded, let's go over the pros here first. First thing, you don't have to charge it. If you plug this bad boy in, it is going to work. That is for sure, kind of the opposite of the last one. You know that you're not gonna have any issues with the charging, with holding a battery, nothing like that. For this to be able to run, there needs to be a battery in there, and we know batteries will go bad. We do know they have a lifetime. Cords, you're probably gonna be good for a long time. Um, other bonuses for, or the positives and pros for a corded one, I don't know, other than just being something that is, is gonna be trusted, something that's going to work when you need it to work, I don't know if there's a benefit to a cord. Break it down for me guys in the chat if there is something that you can think of that is another benefit there. Now the cons. Number one, this is something that can get in your way. When you're trying to straighten, I've knocked over bottles on my shelf, I've knocked over like comb containers that were glass, I've knocked over a few things when I'm trying to get to the other side there. Uh, storage, right, putting it away, you gotta take into account for this cord here. Some of the, the heated brushes out there don't have the swivel ones so they can kinda get tangled up or a little bent. I do like that this one has the tangle, as I said in my original video for this, it wasn't like a, oh, that's a make it or break it feature for me, but it is something that is nice to have there. So. I'm gonna kinda end it there, let you guys pick up the dis this discussion. I wanted to put out some just key points and then see what I didn't think of or see what you guys have out there because oftentimes if you find a similarly, similarly performing brush that the one that is cordless is gonna cost more. Not in this case because this is their new one, but I would imagine this one, the Pro, is gonna have some uh, cordless brothers, sisters in the future options here, but generally the cord the cordless costs a little bit more. This is just the exception in the case. So, what do you prefer when it comes to a heated brush or anything that is in that similar world? Do you prefer the corded? Do you prefer the cordless? And then are there some points that I did not think about? I know for sure you guys are gonna add on and I'm excited. And again, I just wanted to show off the, that technique I used to get my beard back after wearing a mask, the lowest heat possible, and just fluff it out from the top from the bottom, should be good to go. So let me know what you guys think. Dancy bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.